Hey guys, what's up? We are outside of Goodwill right now. I'm going to go in there. Just a quick little run around. I was here two days ago, so I'm not expecting too much to be in this Goodwill. But I wanted to show you the kind of things I look for. Get some in-store footage and then after the video or after each stop, round up what I got. Uh, I'll be going to probably just two or three thrift stores a day. Not very much. Gotta get back to work, listing stuff. But uh, sourcing is always fun too, right? Right. All right, so we're walking into the store looking at electronics. I'm looking around and not seeing very much. It's a small DVD player I'm going to check out later. Those keyboards might be worth looking up, but probably not because I, I've been here before and they're uh, ones I don't like. Over to luggage now. Nothing too good here. Again, I'm looking for old vintage Nike stuff, bright colors, uh, leather maybe. Down there is a Mary Kay bag, but I checked it out and it's really not worth my time to sell. I couldn't get, uh, you know, more than 30 bucks for it probably. And I want more money than that when I uh, when I sell something. Through clothes, uh, I don't really sell many clothes, but I saw this. It's one of those Tigger, Tigger shirts, uh, the coat I mean. Disney, reversible. This sells a lot. I see it on Instagram a lot. People posting it, they like it. It's, uh, it's five bucks for me to buy this, so... I will because uh, it'll be a fun thing to talk about and show, but really the rest of the clothes in here I'm not even going to go through because I don't see anything that pops out at me. And uh, even if it's a pair of jeans for like 30 bucks, ooh, a North Face, but mm, it's spring, so I'm going to leave that North Face. Uh, yeah, it's just a basic North Face fleece, so nothing, nothing too fancy. On to uh, the ceramics, coffee mugs. Coffee mugs are big, right? Everyone loves selling them. But, um, I wonder what that says. I don't know. Uh, no light to bastards. I don't know. Something. I don't speak that language. Um, I'm looking for, like, Starbucks mugs or any mugs that are, like, that milky glass color. These stackable ones, if they had some sort of theme on them, I might have popped on those and sold them as a set. Uh, sometimes you'll see those stackable mugs going for a decent amount of money. But at a dollar a piece for just plain ones, it really, uh, really is not worth my time. So I think this might be a bust here as well. But sometimes that happens, and sometimes you find a pair of Doc Martens that are beat up, not made in England, and all around in bad condition. You know what? Let's let's just get out of here. Okay, so not the best. Not the best. I only spent $15 in there, which is not very much money. Uh, but the things I got are pretty cool. This right here is a uh, Detroit jigsaw puzzle. It's an old one. Looks like it's from, I don't see a, a uh, 88, 1988. So it's 30, 30 years old, 31 years old, depending on when it was made in the year. There uh, are no listings on this right now for Amazon FBA. So I'm going to put it at 100 bucks and... I know you think that's crazy, but it'll sell at that price because it's probably the only one that's new in the entire world, you know, or, or, or one of one of very few. Uh, next up is this game right here, 99 cents. Uh, it's called What's Yours Like? Um, I think it's one of those games where you just guess what the card says. Someone has an item on the card and it's like a gun and they say, well, what's yours like? And they go, okay, well, I use it to, to scare people. It's a gun. Um... I don't think a gun is actually an option, but it was 99 cents. It only sells for like 15 bucks. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll put it at 25 bucks FBA. The sales rank's pretty low on this, and I'm hoping that everyone else will just run out of inventory. Um, next up is going to be this right here. It's a uh, safe and sound harness for dogs, for small dogs. Um, it's brand new, new in box, going for around 35 bucks Amazon FBA. The sales rank is like 700,000 on that, so I'm, you know... I wouldn't buy more than one, but it's springtime. People are walking their dogs around more. I think it's going to sell probably. Um, next up, I'll save that for last. This little toy right here, a little Elmo toy. It's a, a Fisher Price Elmo toy. I think it's Fisher Price. Um, sorry, Mattel, one of the two. It's a little Elmo toy. Um, what I do is I look up the, uh, the number on the tag right here, and the number was A1500. Let me see if you can see that on the tag at all. Uh, I can't tell if you can see it because my hand's in the way. Well, anyways, on that tag is the number, A1500. Uh, yeah, Hasbro Sesame Street toy. 
Most of you might be gated for that, so don't go out buying those until you check. But I can sell this for probably 45 bucks all day. A little tiny toy, it's going to poly bag and I sent out to Amazon FBA. And then the final thing I bought was a clothing item. And I don't usually buy clothes, but I had to buy this. It's uh, one of those Tigger reversible uh, jackets. So uh, that's on one side it says Tigger, on the inside it's like sweatshirt material. And uh, you know, it smells okay, it doesn't smell like smoke, no blemishes on here. It's got that cool inside out pattern. It's XL, as you can see. Um, they're going for like 40, 30 bucks on Rakari. It's the end of spring, so I'm not too excited about that, but I'll put it at 30 bucks and I'll probably make, I paid 250 for it, so I'll make, you know, 20 bucks pretty fast. Okay, we are at stop number two. It is the largest Salvation Army in my local vicinity. Uh, it's mostly clothes, a lot of clothes. Most of the resellers here look for clothes. There's a good decent amount of books too. I'm doing bulk, books in bulk, so I'm not really cherry picking books anymore. Um, what I look for here is mostly toys and like electronics and hopefully some nice handheld electronics. I've, I've gotten a lot of luck here with like handheld, um, the games to plug into your TV or just like handheld games in general. And, uh, if I find some here, it could make some money. Right off the bat, I saw a toy I had sold just last week. These bongo drum type things. I sold them on Amazon for 35 bucks. Just above it, you see this Mario toy I'm going to grab in a second. This goes for about 25 too, but there's no uh, controller for it, and uh, I could not find it. That might have been it, but I wasn't totally sure, so I said, you know what, better safe than sorry. I had some trouble with this toy as well. I couldn't figure out what the heck it was called to look it up. No model number. Um, the 100 acre wood is on the front of it, but that's just what they call the universe they live in. So no, no skews, no model numbers, no whatever. Uh, I put it back because I couldn't figure out what it was, and I thought it may have been missing pieces. I'm looking around for them. I can't find them. That Alfie right there is okay. Bop It is always a buy if it's below two bucks for me. Uh, xylophones down there. A lot of toys that need pieces, it looks like. There's a Simon Squared, uh, a Star Wars toy missing pieces, a Cars toy that's a plush that doesn't have a, a tag on it. This, ooh, a new in-box handheld toy. I'm gonna check that out. Uh, when I looked it up though, it ended up being worthless. Um, bummer, right? Some more new in box stuff, but it's all not really new in box. It's all damaged. Here uh, on the ground was this toy I just saw right here. Um, I look up on the tops of racks for toys sometimes. I'm a little bit taller, so I have a slight advantage, but it looks like most of the stuff got cleaned out here. Over to electronics, or over to appliances, I mean. Uh, nothing good here. If this Black & Decker toaster was a four-piece, a four-slice toaster, I would have bought it. That would have gone for about 50 bucks, I think. Um, it's only two, though, so it's a good toaster, but I don't really need one. Nothing over here, except I see a Rock Band drum set. I don't like selling those because they break, but a set means a guitar and you. Ha-ha! I found it! Right there. It's a, uh... A wireless PS2 one, I think. I'm not totally sure. Uh, I haven't checked it out yet. But you'll see in the car in a minute uh, some calculators. I'm looking for Sony radios. Anything Sony. There's a Sony Dream Machine right there. Uh, in fine condition. The one, everything else there uh, didn't really jump out at me. That wood grain GE clock right there would sell for maybe 45 on Etsy, but it would take like six months to sell. Um, Magnavox, little small phones, nothing's really popping out at me. It's all pretty basic stuff. Over to electronics, we have got some small Sony DVD players, a small Philips uh, DVD or yeah, DVD player. Those surprisingly sell. Um, the VCRs here are above 700,000 sales rank, even the, the hi fi forehead VCR right there you just saw on your screen just flash past. Normally, I'd buy that. If I was going in blind, I would have bought that, but um, oh yeah, I, did, I didn't like it. I found two video cameras, too, right? Pretty crazy. So what I'm doing now is testing the video camera. They came, they came actually with the, uh, with the power cord, the AC power adapter with them, so I can actually turn them on and check in the store if they work. And if they do work, which they do, they're going to go for 
hundreds of dollars total. Um, I I'll look it up once I get back to my car, but I can tell you just looking at these, I know they're worth good money. Um, it's kind of hard to test them with one hand. I'm kind of giving you a giving you a rough ride, but I had to test it in the store. I had to. I wasn't gonna take it home because at this specific store you can't return broken items, and I don't want broken cameras. The good news is, is these both work. They're both in fine condition. One came with a carrying case, one didn't. 20 bucks out the door for both of these. That's a pretty good deal, even though I'm shaking the camera like a madman. Here it is again, uh, I'll show you it works. I should edit out that last part, but I'm not going to because I've already recorded the voiceover and that would screw up the timing of all of this. So just watch, watch as I struggle to turn this on and eventually, yes, I do turn it on. That's some big money. Okay, so I just got out of that Salvation Army and I am excited. It was very, very good. I only spent 60 bucks, but I, it's going to bring me in $1,000, I think. I mean, almost $1,000. I don't know yet. Uh, gross revenue, of course. So the first thing I got there was these Doc Martens right here. I don't usually buy shoes, but I, I mean, it was... 12 bucks for these shoes and they were just sitting right on a chair right by the electronics i think someone put them down uh because there's no size in them so i think someone was going to buy them for themselves the size got worn off and they said ah, i don't know i don't want this anymore but for 12 bucks will i buy a pair i mean they're in, they're in not great condition they're in good condition they're they're in solid condition it says 14 but sharing that for 12 i don't know why a little heel wear but the heels on these are like an inch thick so i don't feel i'm not worried about that uh, the next thing I got, Bop It. Didn't have to scan it. I've sold probably 50 of these in my life. I've sold a lot of Bop It's. Same with this toy right here. This is called like a catch and crawl bongo drum or something like that. I don't remember. Uh, you can look it up by, uh, there's a, on the bottom right here, there's a bunch of writing. You can see it faintly. And there's a model number. It's Fisher Price. I can sell Fisher Price. I sell Fisher Price all the time. I sold that for 33 bucks a week ago, I think. This right here a little tiny ass vcr or a dvd player i mean phillips dvp uh 1013 it's very small size of my head uh i know dvd players are old tech right but these sell they sell for around 50 bucks because they're so small they go in cabins and that kind of shit this right here a vtech rhyme and learn book or slide and learn book um yeah vtech is the brand a lot of these sell for like 15 bucks, so I don't buy those, but the ones that are like Disney related uh, sell for more usually. And I've sold this one for 50 bucks. It doesn't sell very often though. It only sells on Amazon and does not sell very often. Quick pickup, South Park CD. It's here, brand new, you know, 10 bucks. I paid a dime for it, so whatever. Uh, that's a lot of the, the big things I got or the, the, the high ticket items I got. Where's the, uh, where's the rest? Oh, I got this right here. Uh, Dream Machine Sony has the battery case on it. I paid four bucks for it. These go for around 25, 30. Uh, let me, I gotta readjust some stuff just a minute. Okay, move some things around and now I can show you this. I got this toy I showed you in the video right here. It's a better picture in the video. It's huge. Uh, it's a Target exclusive, so there's no FBA listing, so I'm going to sell that at 100 bucks, and it'll move because the sales rank is like 200000 so for whatever reason, that item is in demand. Again, right here, one of these. I've sold these before for 20 bucks. Uh, they're Hanazuki toy. They're at Ollie's for $4, but I mean, I bought it for 2 bucks there. I've done Ollie's retail arbitrage. I might do a video on that again. You know... What, is, is a four dollar buy for 20 bucks on amazon good yeah it is but it just doesn't excite me so i don't do it that much next up a uh, guitar hero guitar for the ps2 wireless no dongle but um it, you can still sell without the dongle fine the whammy bar is a little bit loose so i might have to do a little bit of work on this to make it okay what you do is you just open them up and um with the whammy bar i don't exactly know how to fix that i've, I've fixed wiring issues and i've fixed battery issues but i've never fixed a loose whammy bar so maybe i'll make a video on that too i could still sell it as is and i still might just as an acceptable condition for like 40 bucks but if this is in good condition it'd go for around 70 and then i bought two video cameras and i tested them in the store so i know they work really really lucky with those uh there there was a uh, ac power adapter or sorry a dc power adapter um 
Canon ZR10 right here. This is gonna go for around 200 bucks. Tested and works in the store. Or sorry, that's gonna go around 130. And then this one, the Canon ZR100 or 800, is gonna go for around 300 bucks. And um, they both have the battery and the charger. No tapes in the bag I bought, but I'm better on the warehouse. They're, they're just mini DV tapes, so I bet I have a few of those and I can uh, bunch them up and sell them on Amazon for, for a decent amount of money. That was that stop, guys. I'm gonna make one or two more, I think, and then start listing because you can't make money unless you're listing, right? Okay, we are at the last uh, Salvation Army I'm gonna go to today. This one's in Saline, Michigan. It's not the biggest one, not the best one, but the prices are pretty cheap, and usually I can find a few things here worth my time. So my hope is to maybe find a few used electronics, maybe some toys, um, I come here like once every three weeks because no one else really picks here. I think that the good stuff, or at least the things that I buy, uh, pile up. Uh, it might be worse for clothes, I don't know. But the things that I sell usually accumulate here, and I sometimes get lucky. Let's check it out. Salvation Army number three. Some nice paintings right there, if you like that. A nice mirror. I don't sell that stuff, though, so I'm not going to check it out. Chairs, it's a, it's, you know, whoa. Right away, big hitters. Game Boy SP with games in it. Game Boy, or sorry, Nintendo DS Lite with games in it. Pokemon Emerald in there. Very big find, very good. Mugs now. Um, again, I'm not really a big mug guy, but I like looking at them. Looking for a rare one-off thing. That kind of milky color. This is what I was referring to at the other store. This one is just beat to hell. But if there was like six of them and they were a dollar a piece, I would buy those. And I'd probably sell them for like 60 bucks. I don't know. Um, depends what the what the image actually had before it got worn off. I'm looking for brands now. Uh, anything that looks old or, you know, well-made, La Crusette or whatever. I can't say it right. Don't, don't even bother about it. Toys now. That toy uh, I can't sell. That toy is worthless. These toys are all really missing their their pieces. I don't know. I might swing back around to electronics and see see what's over there again. Nothing at golf clubs. I'm looking for brands here again. Titleist, Ping, TaylorMade, whatever. None of them here. Uh, might be a, might be a miss except for those Game Boys. Uh, ooh, a, a Samsung 3D Blu-ray player. That'll sell. Uh, I don't have service here, so I'm not sure what that's gonna go for. But it's it's worth probably 50 bucks at least. Sony small Blu-ray player for seven dollars. Yeah, I'll buy that too. Both of those are going to be in the probably fifty to one hundred dollar range. Um, looking around, I'm not sure what else I see here. There's a uh, Sanyo VWM 410, I think. Um, VCR, seventy-five bucks, easy. Down here. Uh, none of those are things I like to sell. They're all really heavy. I could look them up, and I should look them up. Um, you'll see after the video. Whoa! Laptops! A MacBook! Not a MacBook. <laughs> a, a G4. It's an old Apple G4 uh, laptop. That's a HP something or other. Uh, I'm going to look those up. I I don't know if I'm going to keep them or not. It's cool. Like I love you know all that kind of old Apple stuff or whatever. But, um... Ooh, another laptop. This one, oh, it's missing a, a battery, so that's, you know, I'm probably going to put these back now that I think about it. It has all the pieces. That one looks fine to me. 13 bucks. You know, I looked it up, and probably the best I could do for that is like 50 bucks local flip. You guys, I almost forgot about this right here. This is the CFD Z755. Just look it up. So I'm in the store right now, and I can't believe I almost missed that. It's $7. $7 for that Sony boombox. That made the whole trip here worthwhile. Wow! That was really good. I didn't end up buying the laptops, like the, the Apple laptop, because it's worth like 50 bucks. They wanted 12 bucks for it. I could do a local flip because I'm in Ann Arbor, so a lot of people like that kind of stuff, but I'm just not, I'm not looking, to, looking to do that stuff, especially when I had so many other opportunities there. Like this, right here. Look at that. That boom box. What's cool about it is you see on the back, the speakers 
actually plug in like that. So they're they're uh, portable speakers. I don't know, but it's it's a little bit nicer. Whatever the word for those black and red cords is, that makes it sound better. I don't know what the what the sound the sound terminology is, but I do know it's going to sell for like three hundred bucks, and I paid seven dollars for it. Uh, this right here, simple three D Blu Ray player. I paid 13 bucks for it, paid off a little bit, but I'll get probably 90 for it, I think. Between, well, meh, maybe. Um, 90 on a good day. This, another Sony Blu-ray player, small portable one. Uh, I paid seven bucks for it. I'm not sure what it's going for, I didn't look it up, but generally those are going for like between 50 and $75. Um, it is a 3D Blu-ray player. The 3D ones sell for a bit more. That one that I have is kind of big, so the price, I don't know exactly what uh, how it's gonna shake down. This VCR right here, Sanyo VWM410. Common VCR I sell a lot of. I'll get 70 bucks for it probably. Um, I paid $8 for it. And then uh, this right here, a little pinball game. Um, I'm collecting these, I have like six so far. I'm gonna do a video on them all. And that's it. Oh, oh no, it's not just it. It's not just it at all. I almost left the store. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna do one last sleep. There was this lady who was like staying in one spot and she smelled kind of bad, she was kind of weird. So I said, I'll leave, I'll give her that spot and then I'll circle back around um, when she's done. And you know what she left? Boom, look at that. It's a Sony uh, you know, Game Boy SP. It's got games in there. Paid 10 bucks for that. But that's not all. This one right here is chock full of games. It's full of games. I counted in there, there's like 25 games, Pokemon games, everything. 20 bucks for that. I mean, the Pokemon game alone is gonna make me 20 bucks back. So that was, uh, I, <laughs> I spent $69 here. And, you know, 64 if you count um, count that little pinball machine that I'm not really buying for profit, just buying to have. And I'm gonna make, whew, I probably got $1,000. This was, uh, I'm really, really happy I stopped here. Really glad, timing worked out fine. Sometimes you go to these small little places and they hit, you know, you, you get a good, you get a good, a good picking, a good source. All right, guys, well, um, it's time to go back to the warehouse now and list this stuff. Okay, back at the warehouse, everything went well. I got a sandwich, it was delicious. Now, it's time to list this stuff, make some money. If you like these videos, guys, subscribe, let me know in the comments, and join the Facebook group, the link is below. It's for people who like making money, just like you and it's free it's not one of those ones that cost money it's a free one see you guys later